President Obama used his first address from the Oval Office to talk about dealing with the oil spill, but he also took the opportunity to push a new energy policy. Listen. The oil spill is not the last crisis America will face. This nation has known hard times before, and we will surely know them again. What sees us through, what has always seen us through, is our strength, our resilience, and our unyielding faith that something better awaits us if we summon the courage to reach for it. Tonight, we pray for that courage. We pray for the people of the Gulf. And we pray that a hand may guide us through the storm towards a brighter day. So is he using the Gulf crisis to further his own agenda, the green energy agenda? Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell joins us in an exclusive interview with Fox and Friends. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning. Were you upset, Senator, that the president decided to dedicate one-third of the speech to politics instead of how to plug the hole? Well, it's pretty discouraging. What they're doing here, in effect, is uh, holding the Gulf hostage to a national energy tax, which the president's been trying to pass for a year and a half. It actually passed the House. I don't believe it'll pass the Senate. Uh, it, it's reminiscent of what the chief of staff said back at the beginning of the administration, that a crisis is a terrible thing to waste. What he meant was, at that time, they were going to seize on the economic the situation to try to pass a stimulus bill and health care and other things that have been on their agenda. Uh, now we see it uh, once again, is seizing on this crisis in the Gulf to try to do something that has absolutely nothing to do with getting the oil uh, leak stopped mm -hmm. and the uh, oil uh, cleaned up. Right. And in fact, Senator uh, David Axelrod, senior advisor to the president, was on the show just last hour. And I asked him that exact question about how he would respond to never letting a crisis go to waste. Well, that's Rahm's, uh, uh, that's Rahm's uh, uh, formulation. My uh, concern is that we don't have future crises because we fail to act on a problem that we know exists and we've known it has existed for a long time. This just underscored it. I think most Americans understand that we need a new energy policy to make us energy independent, to help uh, spur our economy, uh, and to deal with uh, pollution in our air and water, and we're going to pursue that. So, Senator, the interesting thing is, is that now it's, it's not only Republicans like yourself who are coming out against the president and his policies and the way in which he's handled this oil spill. Now it's, it's Democrats. The New York Times in a scathing editorial on Sunday. And now you have Dianne Feinstein, senator from California, this morning saying this. The climate bill isn't going to stop the oil leak. The first thing you well, have to I... do is stop the oil leak. That's what this yeah. is all about right now. Sure, Diane Feinstein had it exactly right. Uh, this, this national energy tax, they call it a climate bill. What it is is a national energy tax. Think of it as a light switch tax. Every time you turn on your lights, uh, you're going to be paying a tax. They want to seize on this horrible environmental situation in the, in the Gulf to try to do something that has absolutely nothing, as Senator Feinstein pointed out, to do with getting the leak stopped and the oil uh, cleaned up. I don't think the American people are going to buy that. I can pretty confidently tell you a bipartisan majority of the Senate are not going to buy that. Uh -huh. What do you expect to come out of this meeting today, the 20-minute meeting between the President and Tony Hayward, the CEO of BP? Well, I mean, the President's pretty good at <clears throat> beating up on BP, and BP deserves to be beat up on. I mean, this is a, a monumental environmental disaster. BP should pay for every bit of it. They've said they're going to, and they uh, certainly will. Uh, pay for every part of the uh, cost of this uh, disaster. But in the meantime, the question is, are we going to get the leak stopped? And what are we going to do to keep that oil offshore, right. if, if at all possible? All right. Senator Mitch McConnell, we appreciate your time today and the other reaction, the Republican side of the reaction to the president's speech. Thank you, sir. Thank you. More Fox and Friends just two minutes away.